All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're checking out a low-cost PCP option. Basically, the cheapest compressor you can get. It looks just like a Yong Hang, and I would say that all these compressors that are blue or black are probably all the same. I know I've had at least 10 of them, and I always find a way to blow them up. So the main reason that mine blow up is because they're not intended to fill 45 minute scuba tanks or SCBA tanks to 4,500 PSI. These are designed just to fill your gun. So if you just fill your gun with one of these, it'll probably last forever. So in the past, I would just uh, run these for like 45 minutes straight and fill my entire tank up to 4,500 PSI. And then I wondered why they would, you know, poop out after three months. And by poop out, I mean like, It'll just spring a leak somewhere, and I'm not good at fixing, you know, fittings on stuff like this. And so, that's broken to me. I'm not going to sit there and rebuild something just to use it. But then I got to the point where I think what you're supposed to do is just run them for 10 minutes at a time. So then what I started to do was I would fill my SCBA tank and just run it for religiously 10 minutes. Shut it off. Go back an hour later, or at least a half an hour. Run it for 10 more minutes, and you'd be surprised. Two or three of those, and your tank's full. But as I said, these are just intended to figure gun. And so if you want to get into PCP without breaking the bank, I would recommend grabbing one of these. This is from Pinty Optics. Now, these guys approached me and said, hey, we do a video on some of our optics. And I was like, I can't do videos on like, you know, $60, $100 items. But then they were like, how about one of these? Would you do a video on this? And I was like, yeah, for sure. I always need those. So here we are. I'm going to explain real quick the basics about this, how to get started, what to do. And there's a link in the description if you want to go grab this exact item. Only $329. Also, over at pinty.com or wherever the link is, they got all kinds of sites. Lots of red dot and reflex sites. They have scope laser combos that are really nice. They have just straight mid-range scopes, bipods, and even some cool accessories, including this compressor. So definitely at least go over there and check them out. If you need an optic for your firearm, pistol, they have uh, one really cool product, night sights for your Glock. That's right. So definitely, even if you're not in the market for a compressor, go over and check out what they got because uh, definitely got some style. We're going to burn through this real fast. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in less than three minutes. If you want to order this high-quality Benchmade clone, it's a 330 Infidel. Just email me. There will be a link in the description. This right here is your air hose. You're going to screw that into the block of your compressor, but be careful. It'll strip out. That's your 1 8 quick disconnect. You're going to hook that up to your gun. This right here, you got two of these, and these go right in here on each side. And these are actually your bleed valves. So when you're done pumping up your gun, you're going to open these and let the air out before you disconnect your hose. There's a teeny bit of oil in it from when they test it, but you're going to have to add your own compressor oil. You can get it at your local hardware store. So you're going to take this cap off, and then you're going to have to put some oil in there. They're usually about 14 ounces, and you're going to want it to be basically right in the middle of the dot. Okay, if you put too much, you just open that screw right there and it'll drain out. That's also how you change your oil when it starts to turn black. This right here is really important. Just screw it on by hand. So after you put your oil in there, you got to screw this on and just do this by hand. Like I say, if you try to use a wrench on this, it'll just pop it, break, it'll break right there. And this has a little breathing hole in it that allows the compressor to breathe. This right here, unscrews and these filters go in there and that just filters out a little bit of your moisture when you have something like this fitting goes in a hole and those plastic washers right there are what hold 4500 psi of pressure as well those gold discs right there are gonna be burst discs and they go right here if your uh, thing gets like to 4600 psi that'll pop and then you just put another one in there then you got various o-rings and other things to maintain your compressor. Up here, that's the inlet and outlet for the water. This is gonna pump water through there. So I like to put my inlet hose on the bottom and heat travels up and it's spitting out the hotter water. 
on the top. And I'll explain how that works in a second. Air compressor is pressurized, and you want to depressurize. You just go pull that, and it'll go, and then it'll pop back in when it's like goes down a little bit. The water inlet and outlet ports are shaped in such a way that you can just push your rubber water hose on. It goes on super easily, and it's definitely not coming off. These are actually very high quality water hoses too. I've had compressors in the past that didn't have very nice water hoses with them. So you're gonna take your bottom hose, which is gonna be sucking the water in, and attach that to the outlet nozzle on your water pump. Then you're gonna take both of those hoses and the pump and drop those in a bucket of water. Once you plug that water pump in, it'll just start cycling water through the air compressor. One thing to note is those little silver tubes that the hose is touching right there, those actually get super hot. So the water running through the hose will probably keep it from melting, but if possible, it's best if those aren't touching. Now here's the most important part of this video, and this is how I ruined my first PCP compressor before I even got to use it. If you look at the end of your high pressure HPA hose, you'll notice that the threads are actually longer than the hole is deep. So if you were to try to screw your hose all the way in, it's just gonna strip those threads right out of that aluminum block and you'll be screwed. So as you can see here, I just hand tightened it until it stops. And then with my crescent wrench, I just barely snugged it up. And as I said before, that Delrin plastic O-ring that's inside there is the only thing you need to seal that 4,500 PSI. And there it is, everything's hooked up and ready to go. If you're wondering what kind of oil to put in your compressor, it's just called air compressor oil. So if your hardware store doesn't have it, just look it up on Google. There's a look at your pressure gauge. Even though 4,500 PSI or 300 bar is in the red zone, it's fine to go into the red. That right there is a temperature gauge, so you can keep an eye on your normal operating temperature. Also behind this right here is a giant fan. It's very powerful, so it's going to be sucking a lot of air. You want to make sure that's not next to a wall or anything that's going to block it. It's got some really nice thick rubber feet on there, but you might want to take a Phillips screwdriver and tighten those before you use the compressor because all four of mine were loose. One of the best things about this compressor is the manual. It's got a huge parts list. Then it actually tells you exactly how your compressor works with very thorough, easy to follow diagrams. It's got some maintenance procedures, definitely some things in there you should know. And like we see in this picture right here, you don't need a five gallon bucket full of water to run this compressor. Since you're just gonna be filling your gun, you can use a small container of water, no problem. There's an exploded view of your block right there. So anybody should be able to read this manual and repair or maintain their compressor because this thing pretty much tells you everything. It's got a maintenance schedule. It tells you exactly when and how often to check, replace, or lube different parts. It even has a diagram of the electrical circuitry in that thing. And a full troubleshooting guide. So very nice. So yeah, you guys, as far as blue compressors go, this one is as good as any. I was impressed with the packaging. Definitely arrived safe. It's got a nice thick box and padding. It's got all the bells and whistles. And as I mentioned, that awesome manual. So the people over at PintyDevices.com are actually super cool too. So I hope you enjoyed a look at the Pinty Devices 4500 PSI PCP compressor. And if you need an optic for your pistol or your firearm or your air gun, don't forget to shoot over to PintyDevices.com and take a look at their selection. Affordable, and these guys make so many scopes and sights, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. So I'm sure it's some good stuff too. Alright everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.